DJ Pro is loaded with so many great amazing features. The only issue is some of them may be difficult to find. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the five hidden features that I think every DJ that uses DJ Pro should know about. Now, the first one is really hard to find. So that's why I'm going to start with it. So we're going to be in either pro mode or you could do it in classic mode. All we have to do is open up one of these features down here, bottom right or bottom left. We're going to go to the second one here after Neuromix, which is going to be for our Q points and some other features. So now you have Q here, you have pitch Q here, and then you have slice here. But when you select the slice, you see this hidden drop down menu appear. So the only way to get to this feature is going down this hidden drop down menu and then going to skip. And then now here at the bottom, we can actually set where you want your auto mixes to mix in and mix out. So if you have this selected down here, you could pick wherever you want in the song. So let's just say right here when the song really gets going, because some songs have like weird intros and stuff that you wouldn't want to play even in auto mixes. So we go over here and we set the start point every time you have an auto mix and this song comes up, you it's going to start at this point and it's going to end at that point, which is really cool, especially if there's lyrics are part of the song that you want to emphasize. Really cool to have this feature. And that is one way to access it, access it. The only other way to access it is if you go to the middle button and then you go to one deck mode and then it appears right here where it says auto mix. It's not very clear that start or stop, but it's the same symbol over here. But I don't think a lot of people use the one deck mode. The next one is going to have to do with neuro mix and the waveforms. So here we have our waveforms. It's a regular standard waveform. You could just see what's going on on the track. DJ Pro's waveforms are some of the best out of any DJ software. But if we go to the hidden drop down menu here where it says two, or there's one where it says one, it's really hard to see because the waveforms kind of blend into it. We're going to press that. And then down here, down here, we could actually separate the waveforms into neural mix stems. So you could do instrumentals and vocals. So if I go all the way to the left, we get, we get just instrumentals and you could see that the other one is gets dim. So now they're both on, they're both the same brightness. But now the vocals are dim and the instrumentals are lit up. And if we go to the right, the vocals are lit up and the instrumentals get faded. And then you could also even take it a couple steps further by three or four bands. So this is with three bands. So we'll go over here. If we take the harmonics out, it's going to be in the middle. If we take the vocals out, it's going to be over there. So really cool that we could control the waveforms that way. So that's, that's hidden feature number two. Let's just bring it back so we don't get confused. Another hidden feature is you could actually get rid of the jog wheels. So right now you may notice that there's no jog wheels in pro mode, but if we press this drop down menu, we could add the jog wheels back or delete them. And this is if you like to DJ with the waveforms instead of the jog wheels, you get the biggest view of the waveforms in the whole software this way. And you could still use these active waveforms as jog wheels for scratching and adjusting the track. Another cool feature that really comes in handy is if you press the music select button, but you hold it in, now you get this feature called double. So you could put the same track on the second deck. Now, why would you want to do this? The reason why I do it is let's say you get a request or you play a song that you weren't planning on playing or that you don't play that much and you don't know how it ends and you don't know how to mix it out. What you could do is you could double the track, have one track playing for the audience and then in your headphones you could listen to the end of the track, the end of the track and know where you want to mix out. This way you don't play two vocals or too much bass at the same time. Really convenient feature and I do that almost every time I play a song that I never played before or haven't played in a while. Next one is we get a hidden mixer section here in the middle. So in the middle we have volume sliders, filters, gains, but if we press this EQ button, now we get lows, mids, highs. We still get to keep our volume slider. They just put it where, where the levels are and they're a little bit smaller, but they're pretty easy to use. And we have a full mixer here. And yes, we could open a mixer over here and get the same thing. 
but now we could open effects or all these other features and then have the mixer there when we need it. And having a mixer is one of the most important things when you're actually miss mixing songs together. And the bonus tip is gonna be here if we go to our sampler over here, we have our samples. And this is a new feature that a lot of people have been asking about. If you press the pencil button here, we could actually adjust the volume of these samples. Some of them are really, really loud and really hard to use at full volume, like the air horn. So now with these little volume sliders on the sampler, you could adjust the volume. You could either make them lower or you can even make them uh, louder. And if you want to learn more about DJ Pro's amazing sampler, check out this video over here. Thank you.